Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. And welcome to your daily Dogecoin update. Uh, which, to be completely honest, at the start of this video, uh, the situation for Dogecoin specifically has not really changed. All right. We are still technically in a downtrend, especially if you look at the, the lower time frames right here. Uh, we're making lower highs, even though you could argue that uh, we have shifted a bit and made a higher high right here, uh, but still making lower lows. So, so purely technically, we are still bearish. And, um, and what's also true is that, or at least I, I have not looked at this, but sometimes you can just derive it from the, from the price. We also don't have a lot of momentum yet, uh, which is also true. The momentum for Dogecoin has sig dropped significantly in the last two days. A um, bit of an increase earlier this morning, and that's also why I wanted to make a video on Dogecoin today. Apart from the fact that I know a lot of you still appreciate these daily updates, uh, even though Dogecoin is not that bullish. The main reason is that Bitcoin is a bit more bullish, all right? And what we talked about always in my, in my last Dogecoin updates and Dogecoin videos is that one of the most important things for Dogecoin is what Bitcoin is doing, all right? The correlation right now is 0 0.93, which means that for about 93%, Dogecoin just moves similarly uh, to Bitcoin. So then you would say, well, right, Bitcoin has been a bit more bullish. Why hasn't Dogecoin moved together with it? Um, and I would say it has, all right? Like I said, if you if you really zoom in, we have shifted a little bit. We made a higher high in the, in, in the last couple of hours. Um, and we also had a very strong downtrend yesterday, something like this. We broke through that. So that's a, a bit of a bullish confirmation. Um, but what's also true is that Bitcoin was bullish while the Bitcoin dominance was relatively strong. So that means that if Bitcoin rises, altcoins rise a little bit less. And Dogecoin did not have that much momentum, so that's another um, so that's another indication that Dogecoin would perform less good than Bitcoin, even though they're correlated. So, I mean, ultimately, what this means for Dogecoin is that we actually do have some sort of a some sort of hope again. All right, uh, International Doge Day is coming up. Who knows? That's if if there if there was one day on which I would bet that Elon Musk would mention Dogecoin, then it would be tomorrow. And if that lines up with a relatively bullish Bitcoin, which for me, a relatively bullish Bitcoin would be a Bitcoin that breaks above 65,000. Um, if that lines up, I do think we can actually do something and um, something bullish, something good. And the main level to break is that level around 16 and a half cents. There we have the 0 0.5 FIB, which is not the strongest Fibonacci level, uh, but it's also historically a very strong uh, resistance level in general, as you can see. Um, this entire level, but especially 16 and a half cents. And apart from the Fibonacci level, uh, we also have the, the, the EMAs there, 50 here at the bottom, and then at the top right here, more towards 17 cents, we have the 100 and 200. So that's the level to break. And the main reason why I wanted to make this video is like I said, due to the fundamentals, if, I, if I'm allowed to call them fundamentals, uh, and what Bitcoin is doing, I think we have a chance to do something good, all right? So to break above that level and potentially rally up to 18 and a half cents. And the rest really depends on what happens, all right? What happens with Bitcoin? If Bitcoin breaks out, something like this is even is, is, is possible. If Bitcoin breaks out and we hear something from Elon Musk or something, then we can also rally all the way up to 20 cents again. Realistically, that's possible. Now, do I think it will be sustainable? Do I think that Dogecoin will sustainably be able to be, to, to be bullish and rally back up to like tw 24 or 25 cents? No, all right? I think the weakness we've seen in the last week and the, well, mainly last week has been so strong that it takes a lot for me to turn bullish again on Dogecoin. I just think that, like I said, if we get that technical bullish breakout and if the fundamentals line up, we can see some short-term bullish momentum. Um, but the only way we, we could see long-term bullish momentum is with a long-term bullish Bitcoin. And even though I think we can be a little bit more bullish with Bitcoin, I don't expect that. All right. So those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.